A confirmed case of dengue virus found right here in Jefferson County. And thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Guy Rawlings. Sherry has a night off. The World Health Organization says this virus specifically spreads by mosquitoes, and we've got plenty of them here, particularly during the summer months. And tonight, the woman who says she's that confirmed case in the state spoke with WVTM 13's Aaron Llewellyn. He's live and local outside UAB Hospital with what she had to say. Aaron. Yeah, guy, earlier today I talked to Erica Van Mayer who says that she has the first case of dengue fever here in Birmingham. And she also says that she thought she was nearly going to die from her case. And she says that she caught it back in November and it took her months to recover from her symptoms. I've never felt so sick in my life. And there were times like where I thought I could die. Erica Van Mayer says she's thankful to be alive after battling a case of dengue fever. It literally feels like someone is going in and cracking your bones. Van Mayer says she and her family went on a vacation to Mexico to celebrate Thanksgiving in 2023. Just days before she was scheduled to come home, she caught a severe case of what some doctors call breakbone fever. I started to feel really ill the night before Thanksgiving, like weak muscles, headache, um, joint pain, a lot of symptoms that made me think about COVID. Just two days later, Van Mayer noticed her symptoms were getting worse. They could see how much pain I was in and they decided to give me Toradol, which is a non-steroid anti-inflammatory medication that takes the pain away and it definitely made me feel better. But the relief only lasted so long. A few hours later, that's when my nose started bleeding and I started getting much worse and was admitted to UAB. Her case turned into a hemorrhage dengue fever, causing her to lose blood platelets. My platelets were dropping really rapidly and had um, all kinds of other symptoms. My uh, liver enzymes went up. I had like some plasma leakage from my lungs. Van Meer says she spent five days in the hospital but it took nearly five months to completely recover. A lot of hair loss. A few months later, I lost about a third of my hair, which is, I would brush my hair and I'd have like big handfuls of hair, um, you know, and a, a bit like long COVID, I had, you know, joint pain and aches and pains. Doctors say Van Mayer is part of the four or 5% of people whose cases of dengue fever worsen, but she wants to make sure people know what to do to be proactive. I don't, feel ready to die and I really think that if I pull through this I'm going to appreciate my life so much more and you know have a lot of gratitude and be thankful. Now Van Mayer hopes that telling her story will help someone else avoid the pain that she felt and hopes that they will avoid the sense of carelessness that she says that she has. And she suggests that anyone who is traveling to the Caribbean or Latin America use bug spray and wear long pants and long sleeves.